Hi, so, got the internet back. Don't have my green screen yet. Uh, and you still need to set that up. A lot of things, just moved house. So, uh, there was a lot of things to set up. The internet took a long time uh, to be set up. <laughs> That's the way it is, I suppose. But I had other things that I needed to set up as well. Obviously, like getting a kitchen uh, set up with fridge, freeze, and washing machine, all the rest of it. Um, but uh, got back on today. Um, set up the BT hub. Sort of working. Seems okay. It's, it's been all right so far. We'll try it out in a raid. I mean, I logged on uh, to see if there's anyone in guild. A few people on, but a lot of people playing other things. Like uh, Diablo. Except not Diablo at the moment, because there's a patch. Um, and then went into Alpha to start getting some, doing some more things. So I've, I've got some a little bit of footage on a video I'll do on like minor world events. And then <laughs> got some footage for Retribution uh, as well. So second Retribution video should be coming out. Uh, what am I talking about? I have no idea what I'm on about. This is the second Retribution video. Hello. Completely out of it. So what I did is I started another character and just, you know, because I knew when I got into Alpha I was only going to have limited time to do anything. So I just went in and went, ah, try things out. So I took my time a little bit more this time. Looked through the abilities, looked through the core abilities. So I'll go through that. Mainly from a single target point of view. I'm going to do an AoE one uh, a bit later. But I do go through all the core abilities and the ones that I th personally feel are better for single target. A um, little bit of play whilst leveling in there, and hopefully it will be reasonably instructive. I, I mean, I say instructive, uh, informative might be a better word. It's not an instruction because it's not going to be quite the same as it when Legion goes live. But uh, anyway, we'll see what we'll see. So what I'm going to do is start to look at a few more things a bit in depth now. So what I'm going to do here, um, I've said this single target. I'm going to sort of focus on single target, certainly from the point of view of talents. But before we look at the talents again, let's just look at our core abilities. That's them. Not that many. <laughs> it's really pruned down now. These are all our core abilities. I've not left anything off. That is it. So... Um, in terms of our main damage dealing abilities, our direct damage dealing abilities around here. Uh, first thing we'd always ask is the Retribution Paladin is what does mastery affect? See if there's any changes. Because although most of these are familiar to us, certainly these four, they may not work in quite the same way. So we can have a look at our mastery. And so it affects Crusader Strike, Blade of Justice, which is the new ability, Divine Storm, and Templar's Verdict. So in other words, all of our core damage dealing abilities, apart from Judgment, um, as is before. Now, let's look at these. Judgment um, doesn't work at all in the same way. It's, a range, it's one of the few ranged abilities we now have, so it still has that range. It doesn't generate holy power. That's the first thing to try and get used to. There is a talent, but we'll, this is just core abilities now. I'm not going to talk about talents just yet does holy damage but that's not buffed by your mastery and it debuffs the target so that they take 30 percent increased damage from your holy power generators okay and the consumers as well so all of these abilities crusader strike blade of justice templar's verdict and divine storm um, will all do 30 percent more damage against the target that's debuffed with that That's what they do. Now, Crusader Strike does what Crusader Strike does. It generates a holy power. It's physical damage. So always be a little bit wary when you're comparing with the tool tips, the amount of damage these things do. Because it is physical damage, which means it will be reduced by armor. But it does benefit from your mastery. How powerful it is in comparison with, say, Judgment, very much depends on what your mastery is like. At the moment, with like this kit, it's like 80% mastery. It's ridiculous. Um... Obviously, it would be very, very powerful. I mean, this is a thing to bear in mind as well. What we have to bear in mind is what I have here is a level 100 character. In Legion, of course, that is not level capped. So, and we're not got level 110 characters yet in Alpha. That's going to be, that'll be in beta realistically um, when there'll be many more people in it. So, looking at the actual damage these abilities do is a little bit pointless, certainly for someone like me at the moment, 
because we don't know what well, I don't know what they're going to do at level 110 and what the 110 gear is going to be like and all the rest of it. So it's just what they do. Blade of Justice is the new one. Um, this, uh, in its core state, generates two holy power. It has a fairly hefty cooldown. I mean, again, it's worth looking at the cooldowns on these. This is affected by haste, which is why they're sort of non-integer, as it has been for some time. So it's a very similar cooldown. They see they're quite lengthy uh, with Crusader Strike on 4.42. You can imagine, if I was just using these core abilities on a training dummy, um, that there would be a lot of downtime. But of course, there are, there are things we can do when we use talents to sort of improve that. Now, this just does physical damage. It's a very powerful ability. Um, you notice the 12-yard range, so you can sort of use it on something that's trying to run away from you. A bit like Final Verdict in Live Now, but it's not got a great range on it. Um, and those are our Holy Power Generators, and remember, these two are affected by Mastery, so they would do significantly more damage than they suggest, but they're both physical damage dealers, which means, you know, they'll do a bit less than if we just added 80% to these values. How much less depends on what mob we're attacking. Templar's Verdict is just Templar's Verdict. It's what it currently is, uses three holy power, does a certain amount of damage, but you'll notice here it's holy damage. It's like we've got the final verdict talent rolled into it, except just in terms of the fact it's holy damage. It doesn't have range on it. It's melee range only, and also uh, it doesn't buff our Divine Storm. And then Divine Storm, you know, what it says there, uh, within 8 yards, which is fairly standard, does a certain amount of holy damage to uh, enemies in that range. Very close range, in other words. And that's our core abilities in terms of damage dealers. Now, we have a few little new ones. I mean, Lay on Hands is Lay on Hands. It's what it has done before, and it's what it is now. 10-minute cooldown. Now, of course, we're probably used at the moment to it having a five-minute cooldown because we're going to take Unbreakable Spirit, aren't we? Of course we are, unless some git makes us take Clemency. Uh, and in extremely rare cases, Hand of Purity. But mostly we have Unbreakable Spirit, so we're sort of used to it being five-minute cooldown. Ten-minute cooldown, hmm, does it really matter? Not especially. Um, how often do you use it in one fight anyway? <laughs> so that's fine. Um, Hand of Freedom. Uh, is Hand of Freedom, of course, immunity to movement effects for a certain amount of time, quite a short cooldown. This is a new one, Hand of Hindrance. This is like a, like a, a slow effect. 30 yard range, 30 second cooldown, uh, reduces enemy movement speed by 70%. There's a number of reasons you could argue this is for. I am a PvE player, so I'm going to focus on PvE. Obviously, PvP players are going to have a great deal more discussion about this. From a PvE standpoint, what is this? This is effectively something to partially compensate for the lack of Hammer of Wrath when we are doing our leveling and mobs might run away, for example. Although they tend not to do that so much these days. But if, you know, if you're trying to chase after something that's low on health, and instead of finishing it off, you just slow it down and catch it up. Um... Hand of Protection, oh, Blessing of Protection, sorry, it's back to Blessing now, of course, yes. I'm going to have to get used to this myself. Blessing of Protection. Looks like it works the way before, it, it doesn't quite. Um, it protects the target from physical attacks. But note uh, the difference here, and this was noted before if you've watched my videos uh, leading up to this, but it's worth reminding, and especially for people who might be watching this, haven't watched the other ones, you are allowed to attack in it. You can't use it to troll people anymore. You know that gnome warrior when they get into execute phase and you just think, I'm just going to put a buff on you now. Not that I ever did, obviously. obviously. Uh, but for those who did, it won't affect them. All you're doing is protecting them from physical damage. They can still attack. Absolutely fine, no problem. So this is purely defensive now. It cannot be used to annoy people. Still grants forbearance as usual. Then uh, a new ability here in terms of a defensive. We have a few nice little defensives. Um, I mean, this isn't strictly a defensive as such, but you can place this hand on an enemy target. It's got a one-minute cooldown, 25-yard range. Bit funny uh, when most of our ranged abilities have 30 yards, and this has 25. You know, there you go. Um, so it heals you for 3% each time the target takes damage. Doesn't mean to say we have to damage it. 
uh, up to once per second. So if everyone's spamming the hell out of it, you're not suddenly going to get healed up to full health. Uh, and then what it says is the last bit there, if your target dies with the hand active, you'll heal for 40% and it lasts for 10 seconds. So if you need a big heal, when you, especially when you're soloing, it's, it's all about reducing downtime, isn't it? You don't have to stand there doing flash of light on yourself. Uh, you can just put this on as you kill it. And you'll get a nice beefy 40% heal as well as, you know, the heals you would have got every few seconds uh, while it was still alive as well, as long as you kill it within 10 seconds. Of course, if, you, if it takes 10 seconds to kill it, then as long as you're hitting it quite regularly, uh, you might get up to 30% healing. But as I say, at the moment, you realistically won't because you're not going to do an attack every second with the abilities we have, even once we talent them, I think. Um, then the next defensive, a new one, Shield of Vengeance. I suppose you could argue this is sort of like replacing Sacred Shield in some ways, except it's now core. So it's an absorb shield, absorbs damage 15 seconds, um, except it's not a certain amount every few seconds, it's an actual absorb, absorbs 20.3k uh, in this state, doesn't sound like very much at all. Um, for 15 seconds, when the barrier is consumed, all the damage absorbed is dealt back to your current melee target, so potentially up to, if they consume the shield, uh, a 20k hit as holy damage against whatever's hitting you. I mean, you can't complain, it's better than nothing. Um, one minute cooldown though, so it's not the sort of thing you can keep up all the time. Then your flash of light, quick heal, it says quick expensive heal, who the hell cares, what else are we going to use mana for, quite frankly. Um, heals us for 30.46. Now, it's, let's just have a look at this. How expansive is it? We'd one, two, we can do three casts of it. If we look at our health, 288k let's just see how much is it actually healing us for no I'm not even looking what an idiot um, it is it is it's doing what it says it does just over 30k healing it's not the sort of thing you're gonna be able to heal yourself up with uh, you wouldn't even heal hard, it was barely a third of your health so it's not gonna do a great deal in its core form Rebuke is just rebuke, that's fine. Hammer of Justice, there's a talent to sort of change this a little bit, just as there is at the moment, but in its core state, just as now. Um, one minute cooldown stun for six seconds. Only got a 10 yard range. Okay. Divine Shield. Uh, the change with this is it doesn't reduce the damage you deal. So now you don't have to sort of think to yourself, could use Divine Shield, it'll sort of protect me, but I'm going to lose a load of damage and I've got Avenging Wrath up and all the rest of it. What am I going to do? That reminds me of something, actually. Uh, so, in this particular case, doesn't matter. Just If you need to use it, use it. Five minute cooldown again. Let's get not get used to the two and a half minute we have now. It is going to be a five minute cooldown. This, more, like, more so than Lay on Hands, is going to be something we need to think about because whereas we might have used Bubble a couple of times in a boss fight, perhaps not now, probably not now, in fact. And then there's our fabled Blessings Return. So Blessing of Might, of course, one we think is going to be the go-to one. Because all of these subjects are change. So this is the one you'd want to put on yourself, certainly when you're selling around or whatever. 10% chance to deal 30% additional damage as holy. Can't say fairer than that. The Blessing of Kings is a bit rubbish, really. Uh, it's an Absorb Shield. Meh. Yeah. <laughs> and then the other one. Blessing on Eye that causes them to gain 1% of maximum amount and health every 15 seconds. The mana, load of crap. Uh, the health, 1% mm, every 15 seconds, not very much, is it? Not very much. So that looks a bit weedy at the moment, unless I'm missing something. Uh, I mean, that has changed already since the first iteration. It still looks very weak. Um, and then the final one, I said this is all of them, but of course that's a bit of a lie because we have one more, and that is our friend Avenging Wrath. So at the moment it's 2 minute cooldown and it does 50% extra damage for 20 seconds. That's a considerable buff on the one we have at live, but of course we have to bear in mind we don't have the abilities that synergize with it, the talents that synergize with it. Uh, there'll be no Sanctified Wrath, there'll be no Holy Avenger. So it is, it is our cooldown, this is the thing we use, um, so it's balanced around that of course. And it'll all be balanced around how other classes use their cooldowns and all the rest of it. Uh, but there is our wings. 
So those are our core abilities. So what we're going to look at now is the single target, and that's going to go in a video which is going to go up very shortly. See you later.